And another race that could determine the balance of power in the House is New Jersey's 7th Congressional District. Incumbent Democrat Tom Malinowski facing Republican challenger Tom Kane Jr., the son of the popular governor. As CBS 2's Christine Sloan explains, the GOP is pouring millions into the race because it thinks it can win. When Democrat Tom Malinowski faced Republican Tom Kane Jr. in 2020, he won by only 8,000 votes. Since then, the district that covers parts of Union and Essex counties has been redrawn to favor Republicans. We asked voters about their concerns. Democracy and the freedom to say your views and everyone listening to each other. Security, safety in the streets and uh, the, the immigration issue. Others telling us they're voting against Republicans who've aligned themselves with former President Donald Trump. What Malinowski's accused Tom Kane Jr. of doing. I'm a little concerned about putting anybody in office who could even be potentially aligned with um, a segment that is denying kind of uh, the validity of our elections. Economy is very important to me. Gun violence is important to me. Malinowski hoping abortion is one of the issues that will get voters to lean toward Democratic candidates. But political scientist Peter Woolley says a recent Fairleigh Dickinson University poll finds voters care more about the economy. There are a lot of people who are very upset by the overturning of Roe v. Wade. There are a lot of people who are very excited about it. Uh, but it doesn't seem to change the mix very dramatically at all when you look at people who will be drawn to the polls because of it. These are just some of the political flyers voters have been getting from both sides. Kane Jr. focusing on the economy, rising car thefts in New Jersey, and safety. While Malinowski says if Republicans win the House, abortion will be overturned in all states. States. In Basking Ridge, New Jersey, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News.